Alright, today I'm gonna be unboxing the Top Peak uh, ride case for the iPhone 4 and 4S. Uh, this is an old model. Of course, uh, most of you guys have already the, the new iPhone 5, but still, this is uh, it's been given to me by a good friend of mine. So, let's not waste time and open this bad boy up. I'm just gonna rip off the casing. Well, uh, what's included in the case first? We have to show uh, it's the steam stem cap, uh, the case for the iPhone, and the shield. So here we go. Wow. Okay, you know, it comes in a very good packaging here. And uh, there you go. There, this is the stem where you can put uh, on, the, on your bike I'm gonna be putting this on my mountain bike and let's see if it doesn't drop on the trails and of course your case there you go this is the case so how do you open it? well you just have to separate these two plastic I suppose there you go so it also comes with this uh, nice back uh, for, the, for the back of your iPhone 4. And actually this goes like, you clip your phone here with the back plate and then once you clip it, this one goes for your stem. Let's open up the stem. This just goes like a clip, you know. I guess it's like that. Oops. The other way around. Maybe. How do you do it? Wow. In this idea. So, great thing about this is once it's clipped on your bike the stem of your bike it doesn't move because it's already installed on your on the stem of the bike itself so let me get my trusty iPhone which I got here so let's see if it clips just like that let's see and it won't go anywhere it's it's a quite good fit but once you put this one and it's gonna be like waterproof and it's just gonna stick there oh there you go there you go Oops. there great thing about this it is still touch responsive see it is still touch responsive even though it can so here we are this is my bike this is an old school specialized dirt jump bike and we're gonna be installing this onto the bike. So let's go in here. So here we're just gonna remove this uh, using the Allen wrench. So I remove the, the screw and then I'm removing this tab and then we're just gonna screw this up here like that. I hope it fits. I'm gonna use the Allen wrench. Do it. Oh, it's a perfect fit. Look, good. So we're just Slide it like that, and it doesn't go anywhere. See that? Nice. 